Whew, what a day and a half, guys. Call to action, reimagining how healthcare is delivered. We've had individuals talk about workforce shortage. Joanne Conroy, Doc Foster. We've had individuals talk to us about our behavioral health crisis, Dr. Lim. We've also had individuals talk about how do we address the elephant in the room and rock the boat just enough to make us feel uncomfortable, but to address the real issue. Today is going to be a day where we talk about and wrap up our learnings. Before we begin with that, I'd like to invite Hope to come and say a few words as well as give some gratitude to those that have helped us put this together, this conference. Thank you. So yes, gratitude. Um, I am so fortunate personally to be here and be surrounded by an amazing group of individuals. So I thank MHCDS for creating this space and all of the individuals for giving of their time and their expertise and their love and their passion. It's just amazing. Um, specifically, thank you to the team that set up with Fazi and I this, this day and a half, to all the folks doing tech in the back. I don't know everybody's name, but it was seamless and beautiful. Um, to the leadership, to Molly, thank you. Months and months of phone calls and emails and to make this come together. Um, which was, it was just amazing. And, and, and so as Rosie said, we heard about so many things. And what, one of the big takeaways for me is we heard some very strong and very different perspectives on how to get to our end goal, but we also heard amazing similarities between those. So the goal is often the same, the way we get there may be very different, and I would take that away. Um, you know, we heard about um, the challenges of behavioral health and mental health and homelessness. We heard about the challenges to the workforce coming out of COVID, stress generally, stress specifically, and how we do that. The amazing role of technology that will help us in the future, will help us help the providers in the room, will help us as individuals to be better prepared to be, live the healthiest life we can. Um, I'm sure that I'm forgetting something we heard about social determinants, lots about social determinants and the role of social determinants and how we have to go upstream to help people to be healthy before they enter the medical care system and the distinction between health care and medical care. Really important. So, you know, this was a call to action. We hope, we want to hear from all of you as well what you heard, what you're going to take home today, but also what we as a community should be thinking about for tomorrow. So when we set up next year's symposium, next year's classes, um, you know, for the professors in the room and the instructors and teachers, what do we need to focus on? Um, oh, we also heard about that, teaching the future generation and teaching them differently because they will live in a different world. Um, and hopefully a better world. I think overall from all of our speakers, we heard optimism that the opportunities are endless. Um, the work is hard, but the work that we all do is some of the best work we could ever hope to do. And we are all grateful for being able to do that. So are we doing a word cloud thing? I will hand it back to you. All right, guys, we're a tag team. We can actually do this on the podcast, virtual, however you guys want it. We do take donations. Um, what I'd like to do is we'd like to do a word cloud. Uh, word cloud about the takeaways that we are going to do in our call to action. What are the top highlights from this conference? What's one big thing? We'll pepper in some different phrases we heard throughout our different sessions. Uh, we're governed by a bunch of dead people. Let's see, what other one, huh? Tell me more. Tell me more, that we wanna hear it. 
call out the stupid? We can do more than that, guys. And if we're call it out. Yeah, yeah, call it out. Folks? Upstream, going upstream, social determinants, prevention. Can we, can we do this so people can say things from the, can it, uh, folks, yeah, okay, it's coming up, there it is. Leadership, distance leadership, yes. about communications. Right. Say it, say it, say it again. <laughs> AI. Let me ask about AI. What are we most hopeful for in the future? I think with Razor Boys that stand up and tell us what you think. What are we most hopeful for? I want to be provocative. And what's that promise? and said, yeah. Something I heard at a couple of these tables around here is the import of trusting relationships and creating community. Um, and I think that holds true in the community work, but at the organizational level, I think we heard Mr. Dowling talk about his organization and his efforts to create that community. Yeah, so if, in thinking about MHCDS or thinking about next year's symposium, what should we focus on? Like, just let, let our community know what, what you want to know. We'll just kind of, we'll have the 15 waivers for MAT. Universal health care. Ruzzy to go into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Adoption of OCM, oncology care models with technology. Please. Uh, we were lucky enough to have a couple of um, international uh, MHCDS alums with us this um, the last couple of days, and I heard from a couple of people a desire to hear more of an international perspective at future symposia. So, just putting that out there. 
there's a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, and I think there's a lot to learn. I'm just walking around. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm. I'm following your lead. I'm over, over here. <laughs> so, thoughts, requests. After today, anybody can be changing jobs. <laughs> More investment in public health. I'm really stretching here, Hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody yeah. else want to say anything? All right. Well, Hope. Can I put my arm around you? We walk up onto the stage and say <laughs> bye to everybody? <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. How about we just have a round of applause for all of us? Because we are amazing. Thank you. Yeah. With that, we'll hand it back to Molly. Again, to the steering committee for helping plan this totally uh, a team sport. Um, and I uh, thank so much to the tech team. You, you were very um, on the spot. We had a lot of last minute changes and you were marvelous um, at facilitating that. Um, and all of you, thank you so much for coming. Have a safe trip home if you're traveling. It's wonderful to see you and I look forward to seeing you back again soon. Take care.